friends so what we have uh, we have the fuzzy reasoning topic today as i told you many times of what is mean by the reasoning word reasoning means the ability to apply the logic to make the good decision or the bad decision we can say and that will be applicable to learn the ai or uh, any application of the ai we can say and there are lots of the application we have seen and uh, in the such strategy we also use in the knowledge representation we have also used but if talk about the fuzzy word which is just preceded by the reasoning that is the defining the not clear and in spite from the students point that is uh, not clear we can say it is a fixed pattern we can use but that is not pictured in clear way information will be there but that will be not clear so and second point we can say it is just say to us difficult to perceive so what is the information we can say that would be in form the difficult to perceive in the simple way into learning the ai so the information which is not clear to us and we have the something which is required to apply the logical way so if we don't have any information in the clear way and we are trying to use our logic by using the unclear information that is known as fuzzy logic term so if i combine these two statements so in summarize way what is the meaning of the fuzzy logic is telling to us that is the very very important so that is a fuzzy reasoning fuzzy reasoning is meaning of the fuzzy reasoning you can understand uh we can apply logic to make a, a good decision make a good decision by using by using unclear or um or we can say um uh, uh not suitable picture we can say or uh, not uh, uh, suitable picture not uh, suitable picture this picture i am taking because if we have image kind of information so we can use not suitable picture information so this is the meaning of the fuzzy reasoning so from this point we can say this is our topic we will see step by step the fuzzy reasoning can also be known as the fuzzy logic so i can write over here that is a point we have the next slide so this is the point which is telling to us fuzzy logic so this fuzzy logic we can also understand by the another term that is the fuzzy reasoning so fuzzy reasoning topic we will see by using the fuzzy logic topic and fuzzy logic is more important topic to understand the ai so uh, it is what actually uh, it is a sub field of ai you can say it is a sub field of ai so what are the sub field of the ai as you know the computer vision machine learning deep learning so fuzzy logic is a kind of the sub field so fuzzy logic is basically useful the commercial and the practical purpose it cannot control the machine and consumer product it may not give the accurate reasoning but acceptable reasoning why it is not giving the accurate reasoning reason is clear because the information or some information is not clear so but we will accept because we are applying some logic so we can accept this point fuzzy logic helps to deal with the uncertainty in the engineer that is the important point so why fuzzy logic is required and why fuzzy reasoning is required due to this reason so what are those reason i can speak over here once again to all the people then you can easily understand once again what was the first point first point uh, we have it can control the it can control machine and consumer product but in a unclear way so the point is telling to us we are not able to get the accurate information in this case but information will be acceptable and uh, next we have the fuzzy logic just has to deal with the uncertainty in the engineering so what is the engineering mechanism i am playing but i am just having the uncertainty so i can easily deal with the uncertainty with the help of my fuzzy logic because uh, i am using the some rough data you can say i am having the some rough data so i am writing here please keep in mind all the notes i have the rough data from this rough data i can have the uncertainty i can have the uncertainty to deal with the my problem and certainty i am writing everything over here certainty uh 
to solve my problem to solve my problem so what i can do i can apply the one approach of the ai that is a subfield i can say that is known as the fuzzy logic so this is the reason which is telling to us why fuzzy logic is required so these are the three points you have to keep in mind i'm writing everything in front of you the raw data means uh, this is the data which is not clear or not clear data we can say so this is the reason we have to use the fuzzy logic from this point uh, we have another point that defines the what are the components because ai also having the own component knowledge representation also having the own component expert stuff we have seen many times or two or three times you can say so with that what the three its components what are those components knowledge base inference engine and user interface but from this point if talking about the logic representation and other way of the fuzzy logic system so what would be its architecture Its architecture is composed by the three important parameters, four important parameters, or four important components. First one I am speaking here, so please listen carefully. I am writing as well as the, all the information over here. First uh, point we have over here that is the fortification module. So first point would be the I am writing here that is the fortification, fortification, not fortification, fortification module, fortification module. what this module will do this module will transform the system inputs which are the crisp number okay so in the crisp number means there is no guarantee the information will be into the right or correct information so into the fuzzy set and it is split the every input into the five different steps what are those five steps one is a lp that is a large positive mp medium positive s is the small and m is the medium negative and ln is the large negative Can anyone take an example to understand about the fuzzification model and how we can understand the fuzzification model? Any, just tell me any example. Else, I can speak the example. I'm remembering very good example. So, what you have any example, so you can tell me. And how we can understand the fuzzification model? Yes. Uh, yes, tell me. An example you are remembering. Fuzzification model. is the first component of the fuzzy logic architecture okay so i can take a uh, fuzzification module is telling to just simple example suppose uh, we have a, a student group a student group we can say students group of uh, approximately uh, 70 students we can say so in the students group on the side of the student we have the mixed kind of the student so we can split we can split the our group to the different different forms so just the student who belong to the uh, age group we can categorize just like the age parameter we are getting so 0 to 10 this would be the age group the student who belong not one so i can take the one to it so 1 to 10 the student who belong to the 1 to 10 years so they will be come into the uh, fuzzy set one and this set we can write like this one in the set pattern and the information of the student will be into the from the roll number and the student who belong to the this just this sample example i am taking so i will make the fuzzy set two and here we have the set information so i can divide the my information into five different steps what would be the large positive so what are the large positive i can use what is the medium positive i can take what is the small i can take so these are the five different inputs one which i can make the my data set or my the fuzzy set and that is known as the fuzzification model so what is the fuzzification model fuzzification model to make the fuzzy set based on the five different inputs and what are those i am speaking once again large positive medium positive small and medium negative and large negative and this is similar to like this example i have explained over here a student group of the 72 students can be divided into the age group so where are the parameter i am taking i am taking the age parameter so here i can take the five different parameter to make the fuzzy set and that is the good point so this step is known as the fuzzification module and uh, it is the next level of the expert system so we have a knowledge base so knowledge base just it is stored the information to the if then rules provided by the expert as we have seen this 
this topic or this concept in the previous class and just study we can see inference engine as i told you so many times this is the um, component which is just used to infer the information from the between the input and uh, by some rules so it's similar to the human reasoning process by making the fuzzy inference on the input and if then else we can do it so if then is a rules we can use that would be the proposition logic the predicate logic we can use and the fuzzification model we have to use because after applying the fuzzification model we have to choose the last model that is the defensification model it transfer the fuzzy set obtained by the inference engine into the q value so reverse process will also be applicable so that is required so fuzzification model and defensification model will be applicable and in between we have a two important component what are those components uh, you have to keep in mind the knowledge base and inference engine and of course uh, with the combination of these uh, components uh, our information will pass to the uh, user from the user and by the help of the user interface but that is not mentioned over here if i try to in, uh, incorporate we can incorporate so at a time we can say that would be the four important component terms of query logic system but it is not required to explain over here so we are taking only the four important component but important step is over here what is mean by the fuzzification model and what are the other model i can write over here it is already written but i am writing once again to all the people that is a knowledge base third one is inference engine so these two type component we have seen in detail base and the reverse process of the fuzzification model would be the defuzzification so we can write like this one defuzzification defuzzification model okay so these are the two two points we have here. now this is the our architecture so this diagram is just uh, telling to us uh architectural diagram i am writing here this given architectural diagram architectural diagram of a fuzzy logic system fuzzy logic system okay so this input will be here so this input the how we can get this this input this input we can get from the user interface but that is not mentioned over here but this is the user okay i can make like this one this is a user who will pass the crisp input by a user interface i am just writing here user interface component and this crisp information will be passed to the our fuzzy logic system so this is what this system is known as the fuzzy logic system and now uh, first process we have the uh, fuzzifier that is known as the fuzzification module the purpose the aim of the fuzzifier of the fuzzification module is to make the fuzzy set so let me write correctly over here this one now this is the architecture which is known as the fuzzy logic system and this uh, fuzzy fire what is the role of the fuzzy fire module so let me write here the aim or the objective of this fuzzy fire or this also known as the fuzzification module so i'm writing here once again over here fuzzification module and the objective of this uh, fuzzy fire component to make the fuzzy input set and this is also known as fuzzy set and here the information will pass to the intelligence so this intelligence will be managed by the inference engine and which is adopted by the batu so this intelligence we can manage by the two component one is the inference engine inference engine uh, and knowledge base and knowledge base 
and then after this information we can pass into the set so that is also known as a fuzzy output set and after this point uh, d fuzzy file will be applicable and this will generate the crisp output so why crisp output is fine because we are getting the input into the crisp form so our responsibility to provide the information to the crisp output i would like to take a very simple example real life or generalized example then you can easily understand as i got this information to Couple uh, few years ago, I got this message in the real life application. So I would like to draw the diagram. The picture will be more clear. I am taking very simple home example, home home appliances. Uh, where the fuzzy logic will be applicable. So I am drawing the some diagram uh, in beautiful manner. I will try to make. See, uh, the fuzzy logic will be. More applicable in the real life scenario. So I'm taking home appliance example. I hope this picture will be clear too. This is what this is uh, our washing machine. Okay. So this is our washing machine. Washing machine. As a uh, being user, as a being user or a person, what you will do? Uh, you have a set of clothes. This set of the clothes will be. You have a set of the clothes. So what you will do? You will. Uh, okay, I'm just uh, drawing this as an example. I have a simple. This is the box. So you can say this will be the uh, some buttons on the this point we have. Okay, so. This is the point we have, like this one. So you will uh, keep all the dirty cloths in the washing machine to wash up uh, cloths. So as a being responsible for this one. So this set of the cloths are known as the crisp inputs. Crisp inputs. Because why we have? Because in this case, in this case, you don't have a simple type of the or homogeneous type of the cloth. You here we have the heterogeneous type, heterogeneous type of the cloth, and we can say the dirty cloth. So here uh, we will get all the information, and in this washing machine, washing machine will use the different kind of the material. So what would be the things we can use this? Rubber as a responsibility. We will pour the water. We will use the uh, some. I'm writing shortened way. Detergent powder. Okay. And we will here. These are the material we can pass. This will be known as the data. And what is intense? The intense means the timing. The time for. Uh, washing time we can say time for the time of the washing so this can be applied by the our inference rule or inference engine after the time expiration your washing machine will stop automatically and that is the point b and this is just into us our knowledge base where we have consumer data so our this information will pass on to the our washing machine and then after just washing your clothes and then you will get the all the clothes that is the point so ultimate you will get the output you will get the output this output means i'm talking about the your washed cloths washed cloths and again you will get the all the cloths will be into the form of the mixed format you will get the all the cloths into the mixed format because this will not be separated individually you are getting the mixed be mixed uh, pattern that is running and this is coming from the our d falsifications this is known as get you are getting the falsification if you are getting the separate or each and every clause so again the d falsification will not be applicable so we are pouring uh, we are just keeping the, all the clause into the washing machine and this is known as uh, we are applying the falsification module and they, in this case, so washing machine will not do, but even just talking about the uh, good and AI based uh, uh, application, where the the upper clause 
will be separates by the individually and that is what that is not the fuzzy set so here fuzzy set is not uh, creating in the washing machine but in other way we are applying the ai where it is also possible so this could be the real example where the fuzzy logic will be applicable and this is the example i got from the the good university from the foreign so this is just suggested by the one professor so same example i'm taking here so this is simple so fuzzy logic we can apply but fuzzy shared we cannot create over here into the form of the cross but it is also possible if washing machine will be more smarter and by which we, our clothes are divided to the different ways so this is the cross we are dividing okay based on the size okay based on the size of our cross are divided into the set so we have the fuzzy set but really we are not getting the thing but we can say this would be the example of the fuzzy logic so that is the reason i am taking this example i am explaining this way so the idea of the fuzzy logic and what are the its component it is clear to all right now See, fuzzy set we are not creating the reason is clear uh, uh, washing machines are not smarter because we are doing everything washing machine is not uh, uh, is not smarter is not smart not if washing machine is too smart and which is just handled by the machine learning and ai approach so definitely we are just making the set of the cross it is also possible then we can do but if there is a many many places where we have the some laundry area where it is also doing so that is known as the fuzzy set is also creating but even talking the example of the hover home this is only reason but this could be the best example uh, we can say uh, best example best example of fuzzy logic uh, from home a real example i am taking okay yes now you have any problems you can ask me so what is the fuzzy logic uh, just let me move to the next slide what is the fuzzy logic i have explained by the fuzzy reasoning statement and uh, this is our first slide and we are talking about the uh, why fuzzy logic so these are the three components we have to understand because we fuzzy logic will help to deal with the uncertainty in the engine so this is the reason we are taking and fuzzy logic system architecture is composed by the four important models what are those models uh, i'm speaking once again fuzzification model knowledge base inference engine and tf fuzzification model and these components i have taken here into the our example real life example that is the washing machine example so i have explained this one. and this architecture which is just compromising by the four different models so we have this model and i have explained this right now so these are the three parts of three different parts we have seen architecture meaning of the fuzzy logic and why fuzzy logic is required uh, yes now you have any problem so you can ask me till now any problem Uh, i i think i'm giving the real life example i hope you are getting something i'm connecting the any topic with the real life application this it's clear to all or any doubt is the latest configuration on the then i will see okay so yeah is, is it good or not ah adu adu nalla irukku yes adu nalla irukku Uh, okay, so I am taking the another example. I hope uh, having seen this picture, you will be happy to see and you will have some idea. Look at this example. See this example and tell me what this example is telling to us. Everything is in front of me in this image, and then you have to assume all the information, and then you have to tell me what this example is telling to us, and how you can in, you can connect the our topic with this image. you can take your time and explain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ah ah adha nalla actually enna na adha vandu konja nalla details la vandu nama incorporate pannom yeah, so, okay take your time so adha konna nama paakalam ppt
then i will tell you the some more example which is related to the our uh, real applications so, but before that let me know right now what you're thinking have you seen this image i hope the image is visible to you think and tell me Now it is clear right now. The image is clear. Okay, tell me. The Kapil, the stress input is the temperature is too high. Okay. And the fuzzy fire will be the turn the fan on high, and the intelligence will be the set the fan at ninety percent speed, and out will be from the deep fuzzy fire. Okay, the step by step I will ask. The input we have given, the we are giving the inputs of the temperatures. So ninety degree Fahrenheit we have. And a fuzzy fire from the fuzzy fire, uh, uh, it is too hot. So we are getting the information. The what the fuzzy system is doing, and how you are interlet uh, these two fuzzy fire and fuzzy system from the case. Uh, we are giving the inputs in the 90 degree Fahrenheit. It's good. Then the fuzzy fire, what we are doing, and how you integrate these two images? Yes, it is. Please, please continue. So it is inferring the temperature that it is hot. Okay, that is a good point. Now tell me more. So the fuzzy system is reacting to the inference of the fuzzy fire and then the defuzzifier is uh, taking the input mm -hmm. from the fuzzy system and uh, um, starting the fan which is the out final output. Yeah, this is the output so a fuzzy logic will uh, work like this pattern only so this is a simple example because we are getting the input is just temperature very high and fuzzy fire, we are what we are doing the fuzzy fire as I told you, it transform. Just look at this again definition part. It transforms the system input which are crisp number into the fuzzy set and it split the input signal into the five different steps. So large positive, large um, negative, or medium positive, medium negative, and small. So in the fuzzy fire, what we are doing, we are just dividing the information into the five different steps. And from the uh, one step uh, that is followed by the fuzzy set, we are picking the one step and we are applying the fuzzy system here, followed by the inference engine plus knowledge base. And what is the information we are getting? We have to turn on the fan on the high, so at least we can manage the temperature because temperature is too high. And so this is the temperature too high, so we are feeling the too hot over here. So defuzzifier, what is the role of defuzzifier? It again go to the definition part. Defuzzification or defuzzifier, what we are doing, it transfers the fuzzy set, what we have set up, created a few couple of the minutes ago, and just obtain the inference engine into the crisp value. So, in the defuzzifier, we are just set the fan 90% speed so we can manage the our hot. Suppose uh, we have only the 40% uh, 40 degree. So it will not be too hot, but it will be too hot. So we can manage. So our set, uh, our fan will be set around the 40 or 50 percent, 60 percent. So we can manage the temperature. So what is our output? We are finally we are turning on the, or we are switching on the fan to provide a better solution. So this just diagram, it just seems to us the steps of the physiology you can apply to the real life scenario as well. For doing this or for explaining this one, uh, this is a just uh, look at this example as well. So in spite from the previous example, just look at this image. Uh, this is image is visible to all. Yes, tell me this uh, image is visible with the air conditioner we have. Sir. OK, so there is a room and the air conditioner we have. So in the air conditioner system, we are integrate the target temperature with the fuzzy logic and this will manage the room temperature by putting the some commands heat cool and no change 
these things you will easily find in the many places and now there are lots of the ACs where we can say the smart AC are coming that is followed by the EI and IoT. So I can write over here, the, now I can write here. Now we have a smart AC that is air conditioner. I can write over here, air conditioner. which supports AI and IoT. So if you remember the IoT, that is Internet thing. So our AC is connected by the Internet and we can switch off, switch off the ACP at any time whenever we require. So we can say the IoT will play important role. So in the AI, how we can manage? So after reaching to the home, I'm switching the my AC, and then after just uh, after some times, it just see the or just find the room temperature. Room temperature just uh, adjusted, then our AC will uh, manage the temperature of the device automatically, and that is supported by AI. So AI will applicable to manage to manage room temperature. Room temperature and this command will just manage by automatically not by the manually so we can say i play important manually we can manage by the our uh, voice command as well uh, now we have a smart uh, AI. we can say as we can manage by the remote as well so room many uh, it meant to manage the room temperature okay so it just manage the room temperature now there are lots of the application lots of device we have so this will be applicable. So where the fuzzy logic? Fuzzy logic just get the input into the crisp form and just manage the information into the crisp output and the entire process will be done by the few components. One of those components I've already explained previously. So fuzzy logic we can apply in the real life scenario, real life world as well. That is the air condition. So that is the reason I have taken this example. Now go back to the other part. So other part, we have the membership function. This is the need to understand why membership function. After understanding the application part or this example, we can say, uh, I would like to explain uh, this uh, point uh, with the, uh, uh, here. Okay, this is a place I can find. Uh, in summary, I can speak, you do not think about the digital menu. The fuzzy logic we are talking about right now. So we are talking about the fuzzy logic. Fuzzy logic is just containing by information into the fuzzy set for the D uh, for the fuzzifier purpose or the fuzzification model we can use. So the point I'm speaking the fuzzy set. So we have a fuzzy set. So what would be the its information we can manage? So its information will be managed by the zero to one only. Zero to one only. So membership function is an important function in the fuzzy set that require that is allowed to use quantify the linguistic term and represent the fuzzy set into the graphically and a membership function is a fuzzy set on uh, any kind of the set A on the universe of the disclosure. And what is the universe of disclosure? We have seen the previous classes. That's, that define the this statement that is a new A. That, uh, that is X determinant to zero comma one it means zero to one so the information or the set information will be only the zero to one values only so here each element x is mapped to the value between the zero and one as i told you and it is called the membership value or the degree of the membership this is the important terms you have to keep in mind while understanding the position so it quantifies the degrees of the membership of the element of the x uh, that is x is what i'm speaking once again x is the position set okay so this is the point and x axis represent the universe of disclosure and y axis represent the degrees of the membership and you can see this concept in this image as well now tell me right now the screen visible the image is visible i'm showing over here Yes. Okay. So, what this example is telling to us, membership is what membership function is a function which is used to represent your uh, fuzzy set into the values that ranges from the zero to one only. Okay. And here uh, we have uh, the five different parameter for the fuzzy files. So what are those parameters? LP. Okay. So I'm writing here once again for embattlement. 
that is a large positive large positive then we have a, a medium positive it's mp we have this will belong to the small and this one you know the that is a medium negative i'm writing in short and m negative and this would be the large negative so i'm writing l negative for understanding purpose only so this is a diagram in this diagram the picture you can say the value of the fuzzy set it ranges from the 0 to 1 only okay so the value the value of each fuzzy set Each fuzzy set, uh, let me write correctly. Each, yeah, this one. Yeah. Each fuzzy set uh, lie between, uh, each fuzzy set lies between 0 to 1, as you can see. And first, uh, uh, let me clear to all right now the member function of the LPMP as an entries. What are these? So, what are the fuzzy set? We have the fuzzy set based on the our parameter so these are the parameter okay and uh, now uh, in the x-axis x-axis so we are representing the information uh, that is represented the universe of disclosure so you can see over here and y axis represents the degree of the membership that ranges from the zero to one only so the universe of disclosure we can uh, read by the our input voltage as an example proper. so there can be the multiple member function we can have okay and to specify the our numerical value so simple uh, membership function are used to use the complex number and does not add more precise in the input so input values i'm taking at the x-axis to represent the universe of disclosure value so it changes from the minus 10 to positive 10 we can take this is for example purpose and uh, each and every values which is just representing the 0 to 1 uh, you can see we have it's a value so when we have the input voltage minus 10, so we are getting this value that is L and we have it means large negative. So we are, it's the value we are getting by the one, represent by the one. Same thing we have MN, same thing we have a SN. So all these parameters are represented by the, all the values. So here, what would be the high value of the MP? So the question we have from this diagram, what would be the, what would be the, uh, high voltage, high voltage when membership function. So I'm writing short term MF function is one. So from this diagram, you can easily check that is the plus five. So what would be the answer? Would be very simple. From this image, answer would be the plus five. It means positive voltage we have. When we are getting the membership function value that is high, that is the one we have in the fuzzy set. So what would be the high voltage value? That is the plus five. So this is only reason. And what would, when it would be negative, when it would be the positive, so everything is in front of us. So we can separate each and every fuzzy set in the simple way from this type. So this is a simple example, and I'm explaining this example. Uh, just uh, this one. So here we have another example, and what this example is telling to us, as you have seen a few couple of the minutes ago, temperature, when it will be the cool, when it will be the hot, when it will be the moderate. So everything is just written in from the our image. So before jumping to this diagram and inspired from the our previous example, we need to understand the, some basic more terms. So what are the basic more terms? This one. Okay. So this is just idea about the member function I've explained. Just you have a doubt before jumping to the purchase set example. You can ask me right now. Uh, okay, I'm just sharing this uh, here. From this image, you have a doubt, so you can ask. So, what would the high voltage when the MF is one? So, you can say the plus five. Uh, yeah, yes, please, we have. No doubt. Okay, so after inspired from the membership function and membership function, I'm just taking one second short and way. Membership function is a function which is used to represent the fuzzy set value that ranges from the zero to one. Okay, so this simple meaning. 
and uh, we have the various uh, uh, fuzzy file set so fuzzy file set can be divided by the five different parts what are those large positive medium positive small and uh, medium negative and large negative so all the information large negative large positive are representing by this one and what would be the membership high value that is one and lower value will be the zero and moderate value will be the 0 0.5 so what is going to be the input voltage when we have the high value of the our or we can say the large positive or large negative so we can represent like this so example of the fuzzy logic system we have this one uh, this one so this example we have already seen but uh, i'm expanding this example by the this step and what are the our algorithmic step how we can represent so we do the different five steps so algorithm so build a fuzzy controller if you need to build the fuzzy controller so there could be the five steps what are the those steps pick the linguistics variable that temperature x with input and motor speed would be the bias so we can represent by the our graph like this uh, this one we can represent via the x and this can represent by the y so x will be the temperature x will be the temperature and uh, y will be as a motor speed this is what this diagram we are designing for the our fuzzy controller in the air conditioner as we have seen and pick the fuzzy set so define the fuzzy set of the x and y and how we can define based on the Based on the our five components, what are those components? Large positive, okay, medium positive, large negative, uh, medium negative, and you can see the large negative and small. And pick the fuzzy rules. So what rules? These rules can be generated by the help of the inference engine. Inference engine and obtain the fuzzy value this value values we can get that ranges from the 0 to 1 ranges uh, uh, will be 0 to 1 okay and then define the t fuzzification so this is what this is a simple algorithm that is used to build the fuzzy controller in the ac so just look at this image once again in the fuzzy logic so if we need to use the fuzzy logic system it means here what we are doing we are trying to get the fuzzy controller that controls our ac so that control the uh, room temperature we can say control the AC with room temperature next uh, our goal is to design the motor speed controller for the air condition which manages which manages the room temperatures i can explain this for which manages the room temperature which manages the room temperature so suppose uh, I'm using the remote controller. I'm just taking simple example. And I'm just setting the uh, room temperature value as an input. OK, so after some time, my room will be uh, temperaturized by the what's the temperature I've set. So how it is possible? So motor speed will be managed. Motor speed we can control. And this is the most important. Point. So next step is, in this case, assign the input to the output variable. And next, we will the temperature in the Fahrenheit or Celsius, whatever that we want to do. Y will be the motor speed of the air condition we have seen. And second step, pick the fuzzy set. We have to pick the set. In the fuzzy set, what we have to define the linguistic term of the linguistic variable tablet X and Y in the fuzzy set that ranges from the 0 to 1. And next step is, for example, five linguistics divided by the fuzzy set for the X. So we can make the our rule, no issue. So here I'm just checking the uh, different components instead of the large. Uh, positive large negative so what are the our fuzzy set i'm using i'm using the cold cool just right warm and hot these are the parameter which is similar to which is similar to as we have seen uh, previously we have seen in form of the i can write over here for notes purpose previously we have seen uh, in form of LP, large positive, medium positive, small, medium negative, and large negative. So here what I am defining, I am defining the my fuzzy set based on the, these five different terms. So I can use okay, no issue. So previously we have seen by the different ways. So we can use, so use this one. And our this would be the diagram which defines the our values of the parameter if just look at this example I am taking. 
suppose uh, temperature of the degree i am just having the 75 degree in fahrenheit so if uh, at this moment i am just getting this pointed as a this value it means the room will be warm if i'm just uh, man seeing the 50 degree fahrenheit so at this moment at this moment you can say just like this one so my room will be room will be cool this is the point room will be cool so here fuzzy logic will be value will be so it could be around i can take 0.7 no issue okay and if i'm just making the 55 so at this moment uh, here my fuzzy value or the membership function will generate the value that is one but please keep in mind but here uh, what is the uh, uh, my so here it is the two point you can say here it will be the two point when when uh fuzzy set value we can say or the membership function value is one at 55 degree fahrenheit okay so this is the point same thing it is we happen by the all the point so the linguistic terms we can use by the why so stop slow medium so we will need to take the decision on this decision will be managed by the our important current uh, component that is the motor so motor can be control motor can be control motor controller these are the parameter which choose by the motor controller because we are dealing with the speed to manage the motor controller to manage the room temperature suppose it's too cold if suppose it's too cold at the 55 degree and just when we have this suppose that so we can what we can do we, here at this moment what could be the decision we can mid uh, we can do one thing we can slow or we can what we can do we can stop so our decision will be taken by the motor controller based on the our input parameter and these are the input parameter in form of the crisp format and that is our our input for the fuzzy set we have so this is not the input fuzzy set now it is clear right now so i can continue new i can write over it based on uh, these inputs and uh, please keep in mind i am writing very important term over here and for the set value we can uh take a decision we can take a decision to control motor to control motor okay to control motor as a decision what decision we need to make uh, for managing for managing for managing room temperature room temperature okay so now it is clear to all right now the statement is clear this example is clear so these are the basic example we have taken and as the room temperature from this now it is clear to all right now yes okay so what we have seen we have seen the two uh, examples what are those i am taking the step by step uh, we have seen what is mean by the fuzzy reasoning as our syllabus and from the fuzzy reasoning what would be the meaning of the fuzzy logic so we are taking this step very clearly what is mean by the fuzzy logic and thereafter we have seen the fuzzy logic architecture we have not seen the graphical architecture we have seen the architecture by the component way so what are the component we can say fuzzification model that is used to transform our system input in the crisp format and uh, that is represented by the crisp number and the bit spread with the different format so large positive large medium large. or this could be into different format as our required okay and knowledge based inference engine deep fuzzification model we also require to manage the entire fuzzy logic system for this way i have taken this example washing machine example to explain my idea where the fuzzy logic will be applicable in real life scenario into the our home as well. so in spite from this example we have also seen the this example that is a air conditioner example so how we can manage how we can control the air condition so these are the basic things we need to understand as a ground level to understand the ai so we will see the ac okay this is a good ac smart ac but how we can say this is a smart what is the functionality we are just the tool what are the various things we can apply so from the uh, story of the from the uh, concept of the ai the fuzzy logic is more important Uh, I remember the statement from a uh, one uh, professor who suggested it. 
yeah is also part of our body as well because what is the observation we have in our mind that would be also form of the crisp manner as well into the form of the image what the, our eye perceives so our eye perceives our eye, perceive, our eye will get the information for image and we can get the image in the one minute the thousand image we can get so our information will need to understand in the proper way from the crisp form so our mind will also work will like a fuzzy logic this is a statement which is given by the some professors uh, just uh, to whom i met many times this is the reason so our mind also will work like a fuzzy logic as well because our mind will also store the many data which is not into the fact manner so i'm just observing the screen i'm just thinking the screen but this time i'm okay but i'm just so roaming to the market i'm just going there so i'm unable to capture the lots of the names but i will keep only those images which are really pinch to me for the memory purpose that is the reason so fuzzy logic will play important role to control the mind as well and that is a great example so our fuzzy, fuzzy logic will be also applicable into the our body as a human being we can say this is the reason now this is a simple statement i given but there is no written example but i have given the good example over here okay now it is clear to all right now uh, this is only the algorithmic mistakes we have so i'm not going to detail me but we have this one. and this is a good example i have taken to control the ac so how we can represent the example by the algorithm so if, if exam time if i ask you the question just write the algorithm to sort out the problem by the fuzzy logic okay this kind of the question may ask in the examination write the solution of the problem into the algorithmic way into the fuzzy logic representation and just draw or sketch the diagram so you can use this kind of the example to explain the idea okay so output will be like this one so all this one be okay so this is the input for you set we have and based on the our input so our output for you set will represent like this one so that the just here this example of the temperature in the degree motor and here we have a motor sp this one so motor speed is too high so motor may blast okay so this is the point if motor speed is too high so motor may blast okay so motor speed is okay 70 so but it is fast at this level we can say at this level we can say uh, here we have a one value this is defined that uh, motor is fast motor is fast but we need to control we need to control and to control this one in the ai we can apply the control strategy okay so everything every topic is synchronized to whichever topic uh, so this is the point so it's 70 we have but uh, suppose uh, we have a speed this one and we have the value of the membership function with this one zero so we can say we are in the control view. so suppose we are getting this point at this moment or at this level at this level uh, we can say motor is fast but in control motor is fast but in control so this is okay so this is the other output for you said we have a different kind of the example stop low medium fast and blast could be so this is the example we have taken of the fuzzy logic yeah so this is just idea of the fuzzy logic i have explained so far just you have any doubt you have any problem so far so you can ask me right